tell y'all something right quick. So I get a load that comes down here to Mississippi, Gulfport, Mississippi. The load ain't ready. Turn right, then turn left. Ain't ready until be delivered until tomorrow. Well, it was gonna be tomorrow anyway because, you know, they're, <laughs> by the time I got down here, they would have been gone. They only worked on first shift. You know what I'm saying? So I made some phone calls. I, I looked at my poker app and I was like, hey, there's a casino. Actually, there's plenty of casinos down here in Mississippi. But this one was close to where my drop-off point is at. So I am here at IP. Now, I don't know what IP means. It could be anything, but I did call. I did stop over at Hollywood, but they really didn't have nothing going. So I, I was like, let me look at my poker app. And IP has three games or two. I'm sorry, two games going. They got a 4-8 and a 1-2. So I was like, man. Hmm. Do I want to stay over here at Hollywood, which they ain't doing nothing at all, or do I want to go over here to this casino where I never been to? That's right. I never been here before. Now to Hollywood, I've been there three years ago. So three years later to come back to play a poker game, which ain't running. Yeah, that part right there. But I am here at IP. Gonna go up in here, chill for a minute, grab me a souvenir card. Souvenir chip. Your destination is on the right. Come back outside after I get finished, and then we'll get into this topic. The guy want to know in the Facebook question is he wants to know is there a trucking company that pays while he trains for his CDL? Let's find out if I can find something out about that. Later that same evening. What's up? It's late. It is late. It is late. It is late. I'm not sure how late it is, but it is late. Good session at the poker room. And it is humid out here. Oh my God, I should have left the truck on. Oh man, you you y'all see the fog? You see how the lens just fogged up right quick? Good session at the poker room. Good session. I uh, I was down a little bit. I was down a little bit, but pocket aces held up, and I went all in on the flop. And with that said, they was able to hold up, and I capped two people. We will jump into this conversation to see uh, if we can help this young man out finding a trucking company that pays you while you're training. And I think I have found the company. I went to do some homework and I think I found the company that actually will pay you while you're training and training for your CDLs. Let's find out what that company is, shall we? So this guy want to know if there's any truck driving companies that has schooling for CDLs. He wants to know if there's a sign on bonus for him to be paid while he's going to school to get his license through that company, right? So in his post, he says, anyone knows of a trucking company that will pay you a bonus to sign on to their trucking school. I can afford to pay for the school out of pocket and will need something to cover the bills while learning or can you keep a part-time job while you're going through one? I know it seems pretty much the case that no truck that no trucking company that runs their own schools is very good for making much money. And it's best to get out after a year. Any comments are welcome. Well, my guy, look, let me let me tell you something right quick. I called a lot of companies 
that offer CDL training or offer or sponsor CDL training, majority of them don't pay you while you're going to school, bro. Um, if you can get a part-time job while going to school in that area where they're offering the CDL training, maybe, but I don't know. I, I highly doubt it. Now, once you go through the CDL training and get your CDLs, then of course you'll be brought on with that company. And of course you would be getting paid then. But for the three weeks, four weeks while you're going through their, and I'm going to say accelerated, accelerated program, I don't think you're going to get paid, bro. So, look, I, I, I feel for your situation. And, you know, you're not the only one. You know, a lot of other people is in the same boat as you. Um... It's going to be hard to get a part-time job while you're going to get your CDLs because it's uh, all day training, you know, from eight in the morning to maybe like five, six, seven o'clock in the evening. And uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get a part-time job. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to get a part-time job while you're out in another state. Uh, maybe, I don't know possible I guess fortunately like you said you can't afford to pay out of pocket but look into grants um, look into loans you know uh, there's there's a lot of opportunities out there to help you get your CDLs if you know if you really can't afford it um, but like you said, you need to take care of bills while while you're away. So it looks like you're, you know, you're a single person, you know, to to uh, to need to keep the the bills flowing because it's gonna be at least a month, bro. It's gonna be at least a month before you get your CDLs, or unless you get into a schooling that will accelerate you within the maybe three weeks or something like that i think i found something for you brother man i think i did i um if this works for you maybe if not for you but it might work for somebody that's in your position then it might work for them i have found rail transport they now have a cdl program where you can get paid to get your CDL license. I mean, I talked to Rail early this year or early last year. I, anyway, I, I talked to Rail. It, it'd be the link would be somewhere along the line. But I have talked to Rail, and I haven't. I I don't think I don't recall in that conversation that they was offering something like this. They got get paid while you get your CDLs. Now this is a lot to go over, so I'm just gonna break down the cliff notes for you, all right? Rail says they will pay you to get your CDL. It says, why go to a trucking school? Uh, it says, why go to a trucking school to get your truck driver's training or go through a company sponsored program? Instead, join Rail, get hired on the first day you come to get your CDL. So Rail will start to pay you right off the rip while you're learning to get your CDL license. Now this might be something for you. And like I said, I'm just gonna break down the cliff notes because it's a lot to go over, all right? So get, I'm sorry. So Rail's Get Your CDL Driver Training Program. They created a CDL program at rail because they need truck drivers to move customers freight from location to location. Due to the higher number of retirees from baby boomers generation, the demand for truck drivers in America has increased and will continue to increase over the next 10 years, making truck driving a secure career choice. 
Now, I don't know. I mean, with all of the blood, <laughs> uh, the bloodbath that's going on this year, we, has, we have as many as five or six companies that closed down already. I'm going to read this as a, an economic negative. Fewer goods being shipped around the country. The volume of truck, rail, air freight down 5.3% in June. I want to bring in an old friend of mine, uh, Bob Costello. He is the American Trucking Association's chief economist. All right, Bob, uh, a 5% decline in shipping rates. I always think of you guys in the trucking industry as an economic indicator. And when I see a decline in freight, I think that's a bad sign for the economy. Tell me more. Yeah, so uh, first of all, it's great to be here again, Stuart, and good to see you. Um, you know, trucking is by far the largest mode of freight transportation, hauling about 70% of all the freight tonnage. So I, I do the same thing. I think we're a good bellwether of the macro economy. Um, it's a tough year. 2019 is not 2018. Now, with that said, 2018 was the best year in trucking history. Okay. But if we look at truck volumes specifically, uh, contract uh, freight, which is the largest part, this is where you enter into long-term contracts with your shippers, that's flat this year. The spot market, which is overflow or small shippers that can't enter into contracts, that's down 40%. Oof. And it's the small, it's not very big, but when you add those together, I think we're in a mini freight recession here. Uh, that means that the economy, and, and, the, the, the freight business reflects a slowdown in the economy. Is that maybe because of the trade problems? Are you shipping less stuff around? Well, there's no doubt that the trade issues have changed volumes, right? There were a lot of retailers and so forth that brought in volumes early, you know, late last year, and we have warehouses that are pretty full. So there's not as much movement with that. If we get a deal with China, though, I think we can work through that pretty quickly. You might have to wait a long time. <laughs> Before we close this, Bob, I just want to bring up this trucker, dri the truck driver shortage. I understand it's reached its highest level. What's the problem here? Why, why can't you get qualified drivers? Yeah. So at the end of last year, we did hit a record high. We hit uh, 60,800 short. Whoa. Now this year, because of the volumes, it'll probably be flattish, maybe even down a little bit. The problem is, you know, pay is going up. I don't care what yeah. you're short. You're short any product, what happens to the price of it? It goes up. That's been happening with truck drivers. So that's good. That'll help attract some in. But generally, longer term, trucking's doing really well up until but, this little soft but patch you, here. But you've got and a problem with drivers who don't have clean licenses and well, drivers who can't pass a drug test. I mean, isn't that at the bottom of it? I know you don't necessarily want to talk about this, Bob, but isn't that at the heart of this? Well, there's a lot of things that cause it. There is no doubt, Stuart, that we have seen, even though the positive rates on like marijuana are still very low, they have gone up. And even in states like Colorado, they've gone up even more. I know of a, of a company that shut down a terminal there because they couldn't get enough employees to be able to pass a drug test. So I, it is a problem. There's, it's, it's, it's bigger, too, that you're asking folks to go out on the road for a period of time. Yeah. But we have a great job that pays really good wages for people that don't have a college education. You're right. Bob, it's great to see you again, and don't be such a stranger, okay? Come and see us again Sounds soon. Sounds great. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Bob. It's crazy out there, but rail looks like they've been in, uh, they've been in business for a long time, and, and it looks like they're going to try to continue to keep the business. You see what I'm saying? So that's why they're offering you this type of program. All right. Where is the paid CDL training located? Well, they said that they train near the terminals where they have customers needs. You can see our CDL training locations here. So let's bring it up. All right, so here's their, here's their training location at. They got rail transport in Marshfield headquarters in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Rail transport in Nina, Nina Wisconsin. Rail transport in Conolio, Georgia. Connolly, Georgia, I'm sorry. And rail transport in Gary, Indiana. So that is the places where they have their uh, CDL training program at. So they say if you were to go to a CDL school, you will have to provide your own transportation and you wouldn't get paid while you're learning. Other company sponsored trucking schools might provide transportation, but make sure to ask them what you'll be making while training as well after. 
So what they mean by that, like, if you was to go to a different truck driving uh, company and they and they have a truck driving school there, don't hesitate to ask them. You know, would I get paid uh, while I'm going through schooling? They can even give you a yes or no question. So here's the standard CDL process. Another common question that they get is, why do I have to study for and get my commercial learner's permit on my own? Sure, other, truck, other trucking schools or training programs will bring you in for a week of training to get your CL, the CLP. That's often a 40 hours of either that you're not getting paid or that they're paying. You see what I'm saying? It might even have you to change your address to the location where you're training at. So they offer a different path. If you want to become a successful, a successful truck driver, there is no better place than, of course, rail transport. So definitely do your research on rail. So here's four points of, of obtaining your commercial license. Determine if a quality Determine if you qualify for a CDL. Earning a CDL permit usually requires passing a series of written exams, passing the written CDL endorsement tests, passing a CDL driving test in which you will be required to complete a three-part exam. The exam includes pre-tip inspection, control skill testing, and a driving test. Once you complete all of those, bam, you're a commercial license driver and make sure you hold on to your license man because that license is pretty much your golden ticket now it is your golden ticket to whatever truck driving job that you can that you can get a hold of but you can't just jump into any trucking job now because you gotta have experience you haven't driven a truck before so they're not going to let you jump into their truck and start driving if you don't have the experience so keep that in mind what to expect with rails get your cdl driver training program phase one of rail cdl training program includes four weeks of training which you will earn 500 dollars a week now it ain't much but it's a little bit to help you through bruh you will get your first paycheck at the end of your third week oh wait a minute that's that's kind of nasty right there your first paycheck at the third at the third week but you already put in two weeks so what about the other what about the other two pay let's find out you'll be training in the same types of trucks and trailers that you'll be driving training covers the basic controls vehicle inspections shifting speed management turning docking hazardous prevention accident procedures and so forth and so on phase two is on the job on the job training which you'll go out with a certified driver trainer and work with live freight you'll sleep in the truck at the truck stops just like you would on any other job and phase three is when you get your own truck you will be paid mileage base rate on the fleet that you're selected in in the last phase you will work with a fleet training management that will talk to you by phone each day this manager will help you master the fine points of the job your weekly pay will be determined on how many miles you drive and you will receive a paycheck at the end of the week you, at the end of the week after you complete your work you'll be on your way to earning sixty thousand dollars a year all right is this good for you man i mean is this good for you i mean uh, this probably might be the only place that is offering this type of program so that you can get paid while you're going through cdl training now there is a catch you won't get your first $500 paycheck until three weeks after you're in the program. So you got to, I guess you got to plan accordingly. So give them a call, man. Rail, give them a call. 
0269, man. 0269. In summary, here's what you can expect when you join them. Training to be obtained to get your CDLs is a part of the job. You are hired from day one as an employee, as a paid employee. You'll be getting $500 when you work your first full week while getting your CDLs. The CDL training is four weeks, four weeks at multiple locations. After you have your CDL, you will be continued as a as a rail driver, but you'll be with a with a certified trainer, and you'll be working at a stable company. Now, like I said before, you know somewhere up here, I did give rail a call, and they seem like to be a good you know good starter company. And with this right here, the 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 pay for your uh, the pay while you're going to school for your CDL training might be a good bet for you, man. So I hope this works out for you, and I hope this works out for anybody else that's interested in coming into the that's coming into the industry, but just can't seem to afford to get their own uh, license and stuff like that. So give them a call and give them a try. Yo, if this video helped you out in any kind of way, hook a brother up with some coffee, man. I drink a lot of coffee. Make sure you subscribe, like, share the video. Make sure you share the video because I think this is like good information. Share the video and make sure you put your comments in the comments below. Um, like I said, you know, give give the give rail a try, man. I mean. You'll be on your way to getting uh, 60K. So that's about it. Give them a call. Make sure you check out the call video to get more information from there. And uh, I really, really hope this works out for you, man. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back to you in another video.